Nothing but that tablet. I wonder what it says. So the light beams are the key. <laughs> That should work. Now to try the door. Why would my father be here? It's hot 
nothing here. I should watch my step. What is this place? Time to take a dive. Hello? Icarus! <laughs> Traitor. Greetings, Cassandra. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible. I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century, if memory serves. And yet, here I am. Standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now... Here you are. I've traveled a long way to meet my real father. You? You were not sent here for a family reunion. There are bigger things at stake. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior. Not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. You're right. We must save the Greek world from itself. Above all things, trust yourself. You're capable of greatness. I'll do my best. The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. 
I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. Vera! We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious! We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. I've reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Abstabo. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. So. Yeah, done. Okay. <laughs> There! That must be the way in! Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Said that assassin sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be on a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. Duh. People! Oh, wow. I'm going to miss the London loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Thera. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. Nice. How did they build all this? What I wouldn't pay for an Isu toolbox. <laughs> different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but... Mm -hmm. oh, I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. It's real. I made it. 
Layla to Altair too? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes. By the gods, Layla. It's Atlantis. How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. Think, Layla, think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline, and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place, just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for, because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed. And they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. At least one of the worst influences is gone in my present, anyway. Juno's power was immense. I never would have been able to transmit these recordings if she was still here. Too many of my people have tried to manipulate humans to their own ends. I'm sorry some of them have been so successful. Have also 
often included an educational mandate aimed at humans. I'm sure you already realize these generous revelations are strategic. point for simulating new universes. But how can they make a better future if they won't acknowledge their past mistakes? And here you're supposed to listen and be impressed by the precursor monument around you. They want to make sure you remember this island, no matter how often it was renamed Thera Calista Atlantis. Precursors were proud of this monstrosity. They wanted it to be an indestructible repository of their knowledge. It took Precursor ambition to make such simple concepts into artifacts powerful enough to threaten two entire civilizations. Bravo us! ambition to make such simple concepts into artifacts powerful enough to threaten two entire civilizations. Bravo us! This recording was supposed to be about the Spear of Leonidas. But you know what a spear is. Humans have been killing each other with them for over a hundred thousand years. Edmistus Megistus. It's essentially a staff like any other. It's a support, a potential weapon, and a symbol of power. Surprised. My fellow precursors love being treated like gods. Why not create pets worthy of that reputation? So we all know the ancient Greeks wrote about what would later be called mythical beings. But in this reality, some of them are more than mythical. He must be the one Pythagoras mentioned. The layer of the Sphinx. Impressive. Oh my, Amistios! What are you doing here? My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of Iotia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. Where is it? Unfortunately, my apprentice was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I will do everything I can to find your missing apprentice. I appreciate the help, Mistios. I am very worried about my pivos. Where was your apprentice heading? We heard rumors of a sighting near the tomb of Menikefs in Diotia. What was Pibos looking for? There was a cave discovered that might contain items of great significance. I sent him to validate the claims before I made the journey myself. Don't worry. I'll find out what happened to Peebles. <laughs> the creature that killed Peebles must have eaten the amulet. the key.
Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! The statue came alive! I am no statue, child. If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? What are you? The Sphinx, the guardian of truth and knowledge. Why are you here? The gods sent me to protect something, and I've been its guardian ever since. I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak will. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. At night they come without being fetched. And by day, they are lost without being stolen. The stars. You're a wise one. What is large yet never grows has roots that cannot be seen and is taller than trees. A mountain. How fascinating. Some try to hide, some try to cheat. But time will show we always will meet. Try as you might to guess my name. I promise you'll know when you I do claim. Death. Well done, mortal. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices. Empedocles can lead us all to meet the gods. He knows the way. What seems to be the problem? Empedocles be praised! Amistheus! I've done nothing wrong, yet these priestesses mean me harm. Please, my god is powerful and rich! His god is a Malacca, a blasphemous blight on Aphrodite's hallowed soil. This is a matter for priestesses alone. You said... rich? Indeed. Empedocles rewards those who come to his call. Th these priestesses have imprisoned him in the fort. He's a god. He deserves worship. He doesn't sound like much of a god to me. How could you? You can't keep a god bound. 
and anyone who tried would die in the attempt. Empedocles is not that kind of god. He is no god at all. Your words are an affront to the will of Aphrodite. If these priestesses speak for Aphrodite, then I speak for all three slobbering heads of Cerberus. Time to go save a god, apparently. Do as you will, Mistios. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. I'll be fine. Is there anything else you need to know? Where can I find this god of yours? They have him locked in a cage in Scandia Bay with the livestock. This would be shameful for any regular god, and more so for a vegetarian god. Does he stand out in any way? There may be more than one prisoner. The guards stripped him naked. <laughs> and when you are confronted with his gift, Embedoglis' godly nature will be hard to deny. His gift? Let's just say you'll know it when you see it. I know all I need. Your Embedoclis will be freed. Do not worry for my... He's over there. Look upon my... No need to thank me for your rescue. Your drachmi is me? thanks enough. Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience. Meet me by my personal statue so we may continue. We worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me. And I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods. If being locked naked in a cell makes someone a god, the Pantheon would be overflowing. Maybe Embedocles is a god, maybe he's not. All I know is that he doesn't beat young men to death. I follow you proudly. Brothers, sisters of Kithira, join me. You think betraying Aphrodite will go unpunished? You may not believe in my godliness, Mistios, but I believe there's some god in you, and that we can put to use. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Clothes would do you some good. You're just scared of my true form. But there's another matter we need to discuss. I'll help you. How often do you get to help a god? Of my caliber? Never. Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying, yes. What did you need? A god never needs help. But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? Family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. Gods wait for no one. Patience is not one of our virtues, no. Will you help? This disc sounds important. I'll find the man who stole it and return it to you. Found him. Look how 
how she strides. The confidence. If I didn't know better, I'd say there were two gods on Kithera. I found your disc. Praise me! Clearly, I have worked through you. Clearly. Time to meet the gods, then? I'd love to introduce you to my family. Of course, if you're ready to join me. This should be interesting. That, my dear Mistios, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice! For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you! Ares demands your audience! That's a big promise. You doubt... I don't doubt the joy you've brought your followers. Their loyalty will be rewarded. As will yours. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth. ...and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? Wouldn't miss it. World. I hear you, my brothers, my... S you see? They're here! The, the gods are... ...behind... ...this... ...door! Listen... I didn't mean to be away so long... ...Kithera is... ...well... ...if you're looking to unleash a new plague somewhere... This is not what I expected. Camouflage, my unimaginative friend. A mere disguise to ward off those seeking the glory inside. Ah! You hear them too! There is something there. And whatever is making that noise must be two or three times the size of a man. Quickly, use the disc! Open the door! They're expecting us! Whatever is inside, I'm ready. My brothers and sisters! of the universe! Outstretch your mighty hands and raise me to the can cheer him up.
stab them. Don't touch that chest, it's mine. <laughs> I'm no thief, but if I was. I'd want something more valuable. Take that back! These ruins are an interesting place to set up camp. What brings you here? A long time ago, below this very spot, my father, the great adventurer Nikios, entered the labyrinth to steal the Minotaur's treasure. As I waited outside, I heard shouts and roars. Then his men came pouring out. His men, but not Pater. I need to save him. A tragic tale. But last I heard, the Minotaur was living in Pefka. He's quite famous. They don't know what they're talking about. The real Minotaur is in Mesara. That's what they said in Pefka. It's a scam. Trust me, I know scans. Where is he then? You said the labyrinth was beneath us. Yeah, there's a creepy looking trapdoor beneath the temple. Take me there, and I will slay the Minotaur and find your pater's. Find your pater. You? You'll do that? The Minotaur will die, and I will find your pater. Thank you, Mistios. No one ever believes me. <laughs> Just calm down and take me to the labyrinth. What's your name? Artos. Now follow me. The entrance is way down on the ground. It's down, this way. This place is going to blow your mind, Mistios. There's a huge room, and there's a huge hole in the ground with a huge door. Everybody <laughs> keeps going on about how. The Seos killed the Minotaur. Lies. I heard it. A roar like... like a rolling thunder. Yeah, that's it. The Minotaur is still alive and hungry. Great. I'm glad you came along. No butter has a shot of getting out of that damn labyrinth. They really didn't have to put the entrance this deep. Almost there. What for these mean ones? Here we are. Isn't this amazing? I've seen some things, Ardos, but this... ...is amazing! So the Minotaur lies beneath Knossos' palace. Open the door. I've got a Minotaur to slay. Ah! Oh, right. It's locked. Don't worry, we'll find a way. You must know something. I don't, but the guys who went into the labyrinth with my pater will. I tried talking to them, but... But they won't speak to me. They'll speak to me? Who are these people? The Collector, Swordfish, and my old caretaker. My old caretaker. Boring old man. Never wanted to talk to me about my pater or the Minotaur. So I left him to find out the truth on my own. Bold. And the Collector is this guy who buys weird stuff. He's a merchant in Gortin. Oh, and the last guy, they call him... Swordfish. 
Of course. He's the boss of Octopus Bay, and he's mean. Where should I start looking for... swordfish? Fisherman's Beachhead in Heracleon would be your best bet. No one's seen him in years. Some think he's dead. Swordfish? He must have a long, pointy nose. No, no, he's really good with a sword, and... ...he's really good with a fish, I guess? This collector... ...where is he? He lives in Gartin, near some red pillars... ...in a crazy house with lots of stuff. I've borrowed some trinkets from him. He has so many, he never even noticed. Don't let me catch you borrowing from me. From you? I would never get caught. Tell me more about this old man. Okay, so my old caretaker recently sent me a message about wanting to meet in Festos. That's nice of him. <laughs> he never answered me about my father or the Minotaur. Ever! That's why I left in the first place. I'll go in your place, and see what I find. The message said to meet him at our old house, northeast of here, near Festos. Where did you say I'll find your caretaker? Old caretaker. The message said to meet him at our old house. I'll make sure they all talk. Sign signature does too well. Some more you need to learn. 一层级独项任务，嗯，哇，山象，天哪！行。You must be the hoarder, the collector, dust collector, maybe. I'm here about the Minotaur. The, no, 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 I don't, I can't, I don't know anything about the Minotaur. Ardos sent me. He says you know things. Ardos, the boy, never talk to the boy. We all promised. What you saw has scarred you. Those scars are starting to fade. Perhaps you'd like some fresh ones. No, please. I have answers. If you aim to survive that... that beast in the labyrinth, I know what you'll need. Tell me your secret, Collector. The armor of the Zeus himself. It's the only thing that can withstand the beast. But it's not here. It's in the fort. I had to sell it. There's nothing wrong with my armor. Nikios thought his armor was the finest in the Greek world. He could have worn Theseus's when we found it. But I was the perfect fit. Minotaur struck me right in the chest. Should have died. But Nikios... Don't make Nikios's mistake. Where is Theseus's armor? Breathe, Collector. I've learned enough. If Theseus's armor is still in the fort, I'll find it. There are more pieces of Theseus's armor. I've only managed to attain two of them. But someone stole one from me. If you find it, you can have it. But give whoever took it a piece of my mind. And perhaps a piece of your blade. Must be Ardos's house. Ah. Where's the boy? Ardos. You're his caretaker? Of course. I need to speak with him. Don't worry about Ardos. He's safe, far from here. Hmm. Where is he? I was told to expect an old man. You don't look the part. I. It's very important I see him. Who told you about the boy? Speak! It's nothing personal with the boy or the old man, but if I tell you anything, I am good as... Dead? 
Guess what'll happen if you don't tell me anything? Oh, okay. What is it you want to know? You'd stand by as an old man gets beaten. B but And you agreed to kidnap the boy. They're just up the road. The cult. Go kill them all. You'll be doing me a favor, too. Let me go, and I won't tell anyone what happened. I'll let Zeus decide your fate. I need to find the old man. Thank you, Miss Theos. The old man is alive. I should check the temple in Festus. I've told huh? you everything I know! Go! No! Wait, wait. Who are you? Ardo sent me. Can you walk? The boy. Thank the gods. Let's get out of here before I return. Breathe, old man. Ardos, the boy. Is he safe? Uh, alive? I won't let anyone hurt him. Though, I do sometimes think about strangling him myself. Ardos has been known to test even the most resolute of wills. I'm looking for a way into the labyrinth. Ardos said you might know something. I know this. That place is death. What drove everyone out of the labyrinth? Something must have happened. I never went inside. I'm not a fool. But Nikios wanted me to watch the boy. I stayed outside and prayed. But I heard it. The Minotaur. Two returned. But Nikios. Ardos said his father is in the labyrinth. Is this true? Yes. He never came out. Though two who did will never truly escape it. Ardo says you refuse to speak or talk to him about his father. How can anyone tell a boy the person he looks up to, his father, and only family, is dead? What I can do in Nukios' honor is to stop his son from entering that cursed place. Why would they hurt you? When the survivors fled the Minotaur, they left behind a disc, the key to the labyrinth. And I kept it. Then why do they think Ardos has it? Because he does. He stole it from me. And I told them about it. <laughs> they tortured me, Mystios. <laughs> I, I, I tried not to break. I failed him. I failed him all these years. The people who tortured you belong to a powerful cult. They have broken stronger men than you. You can still make things right with Ardos. As smart as he is, he still needs someone to look out for him. Family. He needs you. He doesn't even want to see me, Miss Dios. Keep trying. <laughs> About the disc. He doesn't know his true purpose, Miss Dios. With it, you'll be able to open the labyrinth. Just promise to keep him safe. He'll be safe with me. I should ask Ardos if the old man is telling the truth. This must be a part of the Zeus's armor. Fancy. Fishmonger? I'm looking for swordfish. Shh! Are you crazy? You don't find swordfish. Swordfish finds you. Now go before I get my nose cut off. I hear you're looking for a certain fish. Yes, swordfish. I hope you know what you're in for. He's ruthless, cut off a man's nose just for sneezing. Where is he? No one's seen him in a long time. But there's a rumor he controls Heraklion from a hideout underground. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
That's all I know, mistress. I'll keep that in mind. Not another word out of you, Malaka. I have orders. Everyone who talks about swordfish must die. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? My husband is missing. He went out fishing yesterday near Nafi and hasn't returned. You must miss him. This is more than a wife missing her husband. I truly fear he's in danger. In danger of what? Pirates. They were spotted in the area recently. I told them it was too dangerous, but we needed the Rahmi to pay sword fees. Tell me about Swordfish. My husband knows more about him than I do. Please save him, and he'll tell you anything. I could rescue your husband. For a price. Please, I'll find a way to pay. Just get him back. I'll look for your husband. Where should I start? His favorite fishing spot is on the west coast of Anafi, north of here. If he's alive, I'll find him. You seem strangely excited, Giraldos. Ancient regions of the world. The land of the Minoans. Fascinating, mysterious civilization. Geniuses are ahead of them. Should I visit them? Only ruins the name of their civilization now. It has been lost for hundreds, if not thousands of years. But your journey has exposed mysteries which have left me with no answers. Perhaps you have to be something. Your wife sent you Praise to find Poseidon. you. The pirates were waiting for high tide to attack. We need to leave now. I'll escort you back to Heraklion. I'm right behind you. <sighs> oh, I owe you beyond measure. How can I repay you? My services are expensive. I... of course. You worth every drachmi. Uh, there would be more, but Swordfish already took his cut. Tell me about Swordfish. Swordfish? Uh, even his name. I last saw him many years ago, diving for treasure around Fisherman's Beacon. I haven't seen him since. But his presence is felt everywhere in Heraklion. He is here. Somewhere. You should check out the waters near the beacon. Thank the gods. Mystios, I need problem? your help. We've been ravaged by storms and rough seas. Poseidon is angry. Have you tried making an offering? A simple offering isn't enough to appease him. We need to perform a ritual, but we can't do it without our ceremonial axe. Sounds like you need to find that axe for Poseidon. I do, but not for Poseidon. For Swordfish. Swordfish? Tell me more about him. He's the one who ordered us to conduct this ritual every month. He runs the fish. I can't say anymore. No one talks about Swordfish and gets away with it, Mystios. What if I insist? Then I insist you retrieve the axe for me. You insist? No, no. Politely request. And of course, there'll be plenty of Drachmi for your help, Mystios. Do you know where the axe is? Bandits took it. There's a cave east of town. If you follow the path along the shoreline, I'm sure you'll find them. I'll go take a look. And don't swing it around. It's a delicate ceremonial axe. This must be the axe. It doesn't look like it can cut anything. Need something else to find that axe me? Who is this swordfish you want to impress? He'll kill me if I tell you. And I'll kill you if you don't. Swordfish has always run the fish market with an iron fist. Charges the fishermen fees. If they don't pay up, the sharks eat well. Point me in Swordfish's direction. I don't know where he is. No one's seen him for years, Mistyos. 
Some think he's dead. Just last week, some fishermen boldly said we should no longer pay fees to a dead man. Guess who's dead now? I'll take my chances. Where is he? He used to live at Fisherman's Beacon to the north. You could try your luck there. Remind me where Swordfish is? Try your luck at Fisherman's Beacon to the north. He used to live there. Why do you fear Swordfish? Everyone does, Mistyos. He's not to be trifled with. Once, he took a man's nose off for sneezing in his presence. Quite the reputation. This axe would fetch a good price at the Aura. No, you can't sell it. Give it back. I'll pay you. Take all the drachmi I have. The axe was yours to begin with. Take it. You had me worried, Mistyos. Thank you. I owe you my life. Here, swordfish. I have nothing to do with the cultists. Think I believe you? You're mad! Demos has been dealt with. I saw to it personally. A likely story! I'm here for the... I won't go back! I won't go back in there! I don't care if I owe the cult. I want out! You want that artifact! Go fetch it! Once a cultist, always a cultist. What do you want from me then, Demos? Answers. And you will give them to me. What happened in there that drove you to this? The Minotaur happened! I was lucky! Nikios, though. The Cosmos promised me everything! Not this! How did you end up here? I'm hiding amongst the filth. And from it, I can't show my face anymore. But the Rachleon is still mine! All its fish... ...and all its people! You're insane! How did you get into the labyrinth? Nikios had a key. He put it into the still. But you can't go in there. He'll kill you. It'll get out and kill us all! You underestimate me. That's what Nikio said! Ah! I'll feed you to the shark! after all. You can find Rachmi anywhere if you look hard enough. All it takes is a little persuasion. You! Whatever it was, I didn't steal it. The old caretaker said you? Go! He told you stuff? Did he tell you anything about my pather? No, he didn't, but... What about the Collector? He didn't say anything about your pather either. Huh? I could've sworn he knew something. Look, the old caretaker said you... Wait, wait, wait! And Swordfish? What did he say? 
You found him, right? He said the key goes in the steely. Oh, I know where the steely is. But wait, what's this key you're talking about? The old man said you stole something from him. No, I didn't. Wait, what did he accuse me of stealing? The key to the labyrinth. A disc. Oh. You mean this old thing? I always wondered what it was for. Swordfish mentioned there was a place to put the disc. In a stilly. Oh, so what do we do now? If we put the disc into the stilly, the entrance to the labyrinth should open. Then I see about a minotaur. And... and you'll save my pattern too, right? I promised I'd save your pater, didn't I? You're the best, Mistios. Your pater and I will be back before you know it. Let's head to the entrance and try out the disc. Looks like a piece of Theseus' armor. Be Minoa. What is this? Malaka, it's real. Why the gods? The string the sails used to navigate the labyrinth. Let's see what's at the end. <laughs> well, the Lu Kang's name. Just on the beach. Should have rage did this. This must be Nikios. A ring. Ardos might want this. Come Maybe.
Predator. And here we go. The Minotaur is dead. Thanks for your help, Hardos. Where's Petr? I searched the labyrinth and... I'm sorry, Hardos. Sorry? Why? Listen. You said you'd bring him back. You lied. Go back in there and find him. Hardos, you promised. He's dead, Ardos. We can't raise the dead. But we can move on. I'm afraid I'll forget him. I don't want to forget him. Take it. To remember him by. Better ring? Thank you. Thank you. We should get out of here. What will you do now? I don't know, Miss Dios. Without Pater, I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out together. Ardos. Remember, you're never alone. There will always be people who care. Stay out of trouble, boy. You know I can promise you that. I'll make sure of it, Miss Dios. Thank you. It's for hope, Ardos. I'd like that. Sorry, I stole the music. I understand. And your amulet. What amulet? And your ring connection. So that's where. And your memoir. I haven't finished those. Upon her. She worships a rising thread. She must face justice. Ah, Mistios! The gods are real. Help me, please! Silence, Snake! What's going on? We will bring this evil creature to justice! They're lost in paranoia. They think I sacrificed my Ligia to the creature in the forest. Hold your fourth tongue! This walking curse is in league with a writhing thread. She just looks scared to me. Please! The creature took Ligia! If I die here, who will save her? I'll save Ligia. ...and kill any creature that tries to stop me. What are you saying? She will lead you to the Petrified Temple... ...and your doom! What exactly is this creature? Evil... ...heartless... ...unknowable! We must end this girl... ...before she leads a writhing thread right to us! The forest where the creature lives... ...where is it? Beyond the Petrified Temple... ...north of here... ...a damned place... 
haunted by shade and filled with cursed stone. At its center lie ancient ruins from which few return. You mentioned the Ligia. She's... Beyond beauty, beyond grace, a daughter of Artemis. Brave, not like me. What dark prize did the writhing dread offer for she her soul? She lives, Mystios. I know it. This writhing dread has let Ligia live. We'll need to move now. Follow me. Careful. These people are driven by fear. The girl's coming with me. I'd suggest not standing in our way. She's whispered spells in your ear, Mystios. Citizens, we must save our city, and these interlopers must plead. Hide in the temple. I'll deal with this. They worship the rising threat. <laughs> <laughs> You're safe now. Safe? I don't want to be safe, Mystios. I want to look deep into Ligia's eyes just once more. Even if it... Love might be the end of us all, but it's a price worth paying. I polished Charon's drachmi long ago, Mystios. I'm ready. You know, I don't want to call you you forever. My name's Bris. Cassandra. Ligia's waiting for me, Cassandra. If I'd been captured, I'd never have to wait for her. Then let's not disappoint her. Where was she taken? From our sanctuary, the dread ruins in the Petrified Valley. And you're surprised she was taken by a creature? It's not safe here. We need to leave the city. This place is ours, Ligia's and mine. A forbidden place for forbidden love. Not much of a love nest. I've seen more romantic funerals. I found scraps of her clothes leading to the writhing dreads lair. Please, we need to hurry. Time to find Ligia. You lead the way. the realm of the riding dread. Listen, it's as if sound itself is afraid of what the fog veils. It's getting hard to breathe. Even the air is dead. Oh, these statues are unnervingly lifelike. And their faces are contorted in fear. It destroys all living things, transforming them to stone and leaving them frozen in fear for all eternity. Here. If she's... if she's stone, how will we bury her? We shall never meet Haron. Ligia! Ligia! Brace, wait! Malaka! Better go after her. We need to get inside, but I see no openings, and the walls are too smooth to climb. She shouldn't be in there. She should be in my arms. Her breath, her smell. Every night we'd meet at the dread ruins. I was late, just once. I wanted to find her a rose, something as perfect as she is. 
This is my fault. If I'd gotten there in time. Then you'd both be trapped inside. Together? You are searching for a rose. A gift. Never regret an act of kindness, Brees. Thank you. What do you know about this place? Ligia is a daughter of Artemis. Her people trained here long ago. A legend tells of an ancient artifact they recovered in a pit full of snakes. She believed they still had it, hidden in their village on Chios. I'll find it. There's also a mercenary, a man who claims he killed the creature. Impossible! But many believe him. He might know something. You said Ligia knew how to get into the lair. Where exactly is the key? The daughters of Artemis hide their most prized possessions in a cave in their village. It's protected by wild beasts and fierce warriors. The key is shaped like a disc. If they have it, it will be there. This mercenary, the slayer of the writhing dread, where can I find him? He waits in a temple atop the hill in ancient peril. Champions from all over seek to challenge him to build their reputations, but there is no way he killed the creature. If he did, how was Ligia taken? Did you see the creature yourself? No, but only the writhing dread would be strong enough to take Ligia. She's too fierce. And too stubborn. I'll find a way inside, and then I'll kill this creature. And I'll find Ligia the Rose I should have given her that night. Someone, I tell you, in another time will remember us. The poet Sappho. Our favorite. Please, Cassandra, hurry. Wolf meat approaches. Toned muscle. Should keep the pack chewing for hours. As the new leader, the wolves will submit to my will. You're not. They sent word that the new leader was an eagle bearer. Yes, I crushed Daphne in ritual combat. Your life and your beasts belong to me. How may we serve you? I'm a friend of Brice and Ligia. Ligia? What's nearly eaten her this week? The writhing dread. <gasps> you guard the disc that opens the creature's lair on Lesvos. I need it to save her. What's ours is yours, Eagle Bearer. You can enter the cave and take the disc. But no, I am not its only guardian. Wolves? Bears. Malaka. story. I hope it opens the Riding Dread's lair, like they say. Have you found a way inside the lair? Ligia's story was true. The daughters of Artemis were protecting this... disc... key... this... I have what opens the lair. Then what are you waiting for? Use the disc! Open the door! There's no time for the mercenary. Whatever he knows, we'll find out ourselves. We're opening that door now. You have Ligia's heart, Cassandra. Ah. Wait! 
Calaca. Breeze! You have no idea what can... Breeze! Angry snakes. A bad omen. One myth speaks of turning victims to stone.
Gia must have picked up the artifact and transformed into that creep. Someone, I tell you, in another time, will remember us. Its owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Call me Alethea. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, Isu, who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me, would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? I am taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us a revelation. Gods have argued before, but Nine Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing. You really brought me closer to my tombstone. recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We issue see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. 
You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. She can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? This place holds the answers to humankind's salvation. I'm sure of it. Hari, this artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The Precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No, no, lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Rebel to rebel. 
We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness! Fiction! Where I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invention was meant for someone else. There's no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. Listen to yourself. You've gone mad. You need to accept some knowledge was not meant to be had. Knowledge is power. The only power worth having. At what cost? I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. Give me the staff. You have to, for the sake of everyone. The knowledge contained in here could fix everything for generations to come. I can't just walk away from that. What good is knowledge if there's no one around to use it? Leave if you must, but I will not. I'm not going without the staff. I may be old, but I am not as weak as I appear. deserve the infinite knowledge of the creators. That's the point. Nobody does. Mm. Mm. No. <clears throat> if the staff is the key to this place, I don't want to get locked in. I can't hand it over yet. There is still so much to see. That wasn't the plan. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to see- That was bef- We are sealing- The cult will- It's too dangerous to leave this place open. And you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I 
cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Cassandra, choose wisely. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then... Open sesame! So much power! The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lispin, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Leila. You're going to be a hero for discovery. Did you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Leila. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. like it can move. Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. If you manipulate those light beams, they might illuminate something important. Where is it? What? True knowledge exists. The knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. 
possible. Cassandra? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus! You must have so many questions, Leila. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice. Freedom. Chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... ...belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done... ...destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't I wait you, to see Panamas. you. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know, Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had the staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along! He's your father, after all. He was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> Stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means... he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always.
We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are, perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget.好的，以上呢就是本期视频的主要内容了。喜欢的话，不妨点个赞，加个订阅哦，就可以第一时间获取《刺客信条》的最新攻略了。那么呢，咱们下期再见，拜拜。